All right, hello everybody. We've got um, a really simple mixed operations problem that combines addition, subtraction, and multiplication um, all in one. And I've um, seen this one show up on, on Facebook uh, in a few forums. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of the pages that are putting this on there are like scammer pages. Uh, there's multiple copies uh, of these pages, multiple copies of the graphics, but the problem is out there. Uh, but unfortunately, what I'm seeing is, uh, I mean, uh, I'd be probably generous if I said only 80% of the people are getting it wrong. Um, it's very few people are getting this one right, um, which is really concerning, especially because I think there's a lot of adults answering this problem. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, you know, for a lot of people, this stuff's really easy and I get it. And I've had people question me about some of these problems and say, you know, why are you putting such basic elementary school math on there? This stuff's so easy. Why are you spending five minutes explaining something that is intuitively obvious? Well, what I found out over the last few years is that unfortunately, this stuff is not intuitively obvious. Um, but anyhow, if you are struggling with this and not sure, you can try to work this one out on your own. We'll come back and go through this together. All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to say, because this is probably the most common incorrect answer I've seen posted, it is not 18. Um, what I'm seeing a lot of people do is just go left to right uh, and ignoring the order of operations, which is frankly been around forever. Uh, I know a lot of people like to claim it hasn't been. A lot of people like to claim back in their day, their teachers told them to go left to right. And I guarantee uh, that their teachers were not as incompetent uh, as they tried to make us believe. But they don't really understand that. When, when they're saying that, they don't really understand they're throwing their teachers under the bus <clears throat> because it would take a very incompetent teacher to tell you to go left to right. Um, so first off the bat, a lot of the people answering 18 have really just forgotten what they were taught, and that's even decades ago. Um, they're what they're doing is they're just going three plus three is six times three is 18, and then of course minus three plus three, you're not adding anything to it. You're taking away three and adding adding three back. So in their mind, you're being left with 18. Uh, but I'll tell you that's never been right. Um, the order of operations has really been forgotten by a lot of people, unfortunately. Um, you know, I think a lot of people, they're just balancing their checkbook. And they're adding and subtracting. Um, you know, in my case, I've got a background in engineering, so I, I do a little bit more math maybe than the mathematics than the average person. But um, a lot of people are really getting confused when you start mixing higher order operations like multiplication with addition and sub subtraction it's totally legitimate to do that by the way um uh, some people may have heard of pemdas now pemdas is just an acronym it's not the order of operations it's just an acronym used as a memorization tool uh and i i see this abused a lot and misunderstood uh people literally believe that these six letters represent the order of six steps it's like a six step checklist and it's not uh, unfortunately, when you write PEMDAS out, you're seeing P-E-M-D-A-S. Uh, a lot of people out there will think, oh, well, that means multiplication before division. Uh, because, you know, the P represents parentheses, E is exponents, M is multiplication, D division, A addition, S subtraction. A lot of people even go as far to say, well, you have to do addition before subtraction because the A is before the S. Uh, but really a better way to have represented that, uh, which I don't have my uh, pointer here, uh, but a better way to have really represented it would be to either draw it out like this, and it could be MD or DM over here, or AS or SA, but basically this is showing that it's parentheses first if you have them, uh, then you move on to exponents, uh, and it's not really just exponents, it could be factorials, it could be square roots, uh, and then you have multiplication or division, or division or multiplication. It's whatever one you you run into first. When you're solving left to right, you just solve in the order that you find them. And the same with addition and subtraction. And really with addition and subtraction, it does not matter the order. Um, what I see is I see people butchering the signs, and, and they literally are jumping signs around 
and putting a negative sign that was in front of one number and they're putting it in front of another number uh, in, in an expression and and then they're getting the wrong answer doing that. Um, so yeah, you don't do that either. But um, you know, there's other people out there that have probably already been saying, uh, you know, Bodmus, well, I, I've learned Bodmus or maybe you learn Bedmus or Bidmus. Maybe you've not used any of these, you know, that doesn't really matter. Um, these are all acronyms. Bodmus is used a lot in the UK. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on Bedmus and Bidmus um, where those are used the most. Um, someone could leave a comment. They may have learned according to that. These are all acronyms that describe the same order of operations. Um, there's six letters. All of them have six letters, but they only represent four steps. Uh, the first one now, um, in some English speaking countries, instead of using the word parentheses, they'll use the word brackets. Uh, instead of exponents, you know, Bodmus uses a, a generic term called orders. Orders means, you know, exponents, factorials, square roots. Actually, the orders is, a, is kind of a better term because with PEMDAS and Bedmus, the E is just exponents, but exponents is not the whole picture. Basically, that second letter is representing anything that is shorthand for repeated multiplication. And that can be factorials, it could be square roots as well. Uh, Bidmus, they're using, I think I is uh, uh, indices is the term that they use. But again, these are just acronyms from different English speaking countries that use some different terminology, but they all give you the same answer. If you were to go through the steps of any of these, uh, you're gonna get the, the same answer. Um, and so to, to, to go back to the order of operations again, multiplication, now I will, I'll have a lot of people to say, tell me, well, there's no parentheses, so you go left to right, or there's no brackets, so you go left to right. Uh, that's untrue. You, you don't skip steps. Yeah, well, you, you don't skip the order of operations just because one step is missing. You move on to the next step. If there's no parentheses, there's no exponents. The next thing you're looking for is multiplication or division because multiplication still has precedence uh, over addition and subtraction, believe it or not. It does. Uh, so 3 times 3 is 9. 3 plus 9 minus 3 plus 3 is 12. Uh, now, I didn't do that here in this problem. I've done this in a lot of the other examples, but you could replace um, 3 times 3 with addition. You could replace that with... 3 times 3 is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3. So you could literally literally have written this out as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 3, and it would equal 12. It would still equal 12. Um, so again, nobody was ever taught to blindly solve left to right. Um, it's one of the most common uh, excuses that I'll hear from people um, uh, on that. And... and this is not as common, but the other common answer that's wrong is six. And the only way I'm figuring people are getting that is that when they see this minus sign, for some reason they're wanting to subtract everything to the right of it, which you can't do. I mean, this is where some people really fail to understand how mathematical operators work. Uh, the min you t In order to get six, you would actually have to have parentheses here to make this minus sign act on the three plus three. Otherwise, it's minus 3 plus 3. This minus sign up here has nothing to do with this 3. Uh, so that's the only way I'm really seeing people getting 6. Uh, if somebody thought it was 6 and they could tell me a different way of how they got there, I'd love to know because, you know, sometimes it's, it's good for me to understand how are people coming up with these wrong answers? You know, where are they going wrong? What's the common theme you know, 18, I already know what they're doing there. They're just going left to right, uh, which is obviously not right. Um, now, I want to say, I know I've gone on long again, but again, uh, I feel it's necessary because, and I'm sure somebody will make a comment, well, why did you spend so much time on such an easy problem? Well, it's because when you see the answers that people leave online, the majority of them are wrong. The majority of them are either things like 18 or 3 or 6. Uh, are, are, are the are, are what I'm seeing I'm seeing that more than the correct answer of 12 which is which is really unfortunate uh, it's telling me a lot of people have forgotten um, but again I've got a lot more details on order of operations uh, in the notes uh, in the show notes so if you want to look at the description you can get some more info but um, 
again, I, uh, I hope everybody's having a good, uh, this is the month of July so far, and I hope everybody's having a good month, July of 2024. I uh, look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.